Safi mtazamaji leo hii nataka nikuonyeshe utofauti ambao upo kati ya sakaja na gashago na shukuru Mungu kabisa sin hii hapa imetokea kwa sababu ingetuchukua muda mrefu kabisa au ingenichukua muda mrefu kabisa nifanye uh, wewe uelewe utofauti ambao upo kati ya Rigathi Gashago pamoja na Johnson Sakaja bila shaka unafahamu uh, mvurutano ambao umekuepo uh, kati ya wawili hawa so leo <laughs> Uh, wote wamezungumzia ishu ya maandamano ya Raila Molodinga kamukunji lakini pia vile vile na uh, jumapili hii uh, na dhani uh, kesho kutwa uh, kutakuwa na mkutano pale Jakaranda azimio na nini uh, so wote wameizungumzia ishu hii lakini nataka nikuonyeshe namna ambavyo utofauti unakuja so wakati ambapo Rigathi Gashagwa nitakupa hiyo clip usikue na wasiwasi wakati ambapo Rigathi Gashagwa anaizungumzia hivi kwamba nyinyi fanyeni tu maandamano msi mseme am believe au hamwamini kama William Samuel Ruto ndo rais amchukulii kama rais na nini it's okay eh what next ni kitu kipi ambacho mtafanya hakuna mwisho siku ni ndoto ya mchana mtaamka mpate William Samuel Ruto bado ndo rais unanipata mtazamaji wangu nao sakaja naye kaiona kwa ango hii hapa very mature yani ukitaka kujua jamaa ana akili kabisa na hata kwenye siasa hata anavyo reason mara nyingi unakuta kwamba no huyu jamaa ni mjanja sana alafu ni mtu ambaye anatumia akili hata anapozungumza wewe unaona uh, kitu kingine ambacho haukuwa anatarajia kuona so sakaja anaiona hivi eh okay tu, tusione tu maandamano inaendelea tuone ni watu wangapi wanafika pale <laughs> kumsikiliza Raila Molodinga unanipata so sakaja anasema wale vijana wote kujitokeza mchana kabisa kwenda kumsikiliza Raila Molodinga inamaanisha hata wao wenyewe maisha ambao wanapitia sio maisha ambayo yanafurahisha. Sio kama unaona utofauti sehemu ilipo. Gashagwa yeye ameona tu Raila anafanya maandamano. Lakini Sakaja ameona watu ambao wanafanya maandama maandamano au watu ambao wanahudhuria maandamano. So umeangalia <laughs> kwa angles uh, tofauti mbili. Gashagwa anaangalia Raila akifanya maandamano. Lakini Sakaja anaangalia vijana ambao wanahudhuria maandamano. <laughs> so mwisho siku you can differentiate. It's very simple angalia. Angalia Sakaja, angalia Gashago anavyo behave. So nataka nikupe hii video clip <laughs> we mwenyewe uh, ujue kabisa kwa sababu mimi nikisema labda mtu atasema na msifia Sakaja lakini no. Kwenye hii clip nataka uisikilize kwa umakini kabisa utapata huyu jamaa ni mjanja sana. Tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata Bye bye. Because Asante sana tupigie speaker wetu makofi pamoja na viongozi wetu MCAs tuwapigie makofi Asanteni sana kwa kutokea kwa wingi Your Excellency Nairobi County Assembly has amazing leadership hawa wabunge wetu wanafanya kazi pamoja wanafanya kazi pamoja bila kuangalia chama au kabila because they realize wale ambao tunaongoza wa Nairobi pia ni wa vyama vyote na kabila zote. Tuwapigie makofi mkae hivyo pamoja and we will keep working on that unity. Unity is not found in a day. We will keep working on it because your unity is what will make Nairobi shine. Mkae hivyo pamoja. Your Excellency as the PS said, Shauri Moyo is a place of great history. In the 50s you would find Tom Boyer who was the first MP for Kamkunji here in Shauri Moyo, you'd find Julius Nyerere over here, and you'd find Milton Obote in this neighborhood. The biggest pre-independence meetings were done between Shauri Moyo and Majengo in the clamor of independence. Of course, there is what the Mau Mau did, but also Nairobi had its own Mau Mau, who used to meet here and were rounded up into concentration camps from Ziwani down in Kamkunji up until the side of Karyoko, to what we now know today as Uhuru Gardens. Many of them lost their lives. This is a historic place and I'm sure wherever they are, Thomas Joseph Mboya is proud of you today for doing this for the people of Shauri Moyo and the people of Kamkunji constituency. Your Excellency, we want to thank you because this is not the first time, this is not the second time that you've been in Nairobi with this program of affordable housing. Housing gives people dignity, housing makes them feel at our kweli ni binadamu sawa sawa. Asante kwa kukumbuka mahasla wa Nairobi ambao pia wanahitaji makao. Isiwe ati tumezoea lazima ukiishi mahali Nairobi kama huna pesa 
uishi mahali ambapo hakuna choo mahali hakuna stima mahali hakuna maji hata mwananchi wa kawaida wa Nairobi anahitaji nyumba ambayo inampatia heshima na hadhi ambayo yako nayo thank you so much for this program your excellency your excellency as a county government we have supported this program we have given all the approvals and the waziri will confirm we have even given waivers to make sure that it is truly affordable housing and we have given technical assistance as they move along in this program and i want to recognize uh, sg mwangi who is my minister in charge of lands and the usg na unamjua yeye ndo ametusaidia sana kwa hii kazi pamoja na timu yake ambao wako kwa Nairobi County Government. Nimeona nilikuwa nimesahau baba yao ako hapa Waititu. Your Excellency baba yao pia tunafanya kazi naye kwa ukaribu sana kwa sababu wako katika ile Nairobi eh, Rivers Commission ambapo tutasafisha mito ya Nairobi plus also Nairobi Dam na sio Nairobi River peke yake kuna Madhari River pia tuko na Ngong River all of those are economic frontiers for our people dunia mzima watu huenda pale kuna mto Kenya tunatoroka kwa sababu inanuka that must change and that will change under your administration your excellency your excellency very briefly as uh, my my good friend Mheshimiwa Yusuf who has been an MP here for I think now four terms as he has said your excellency we have challenges in this area and we have spoken to you about them I'm grateful we to connect na waziri wa Kawi eh, bwana Chirchir in many areas in Nairobi Kenya power wamekata stima wamekatia wananchi wetu stima wametoa transformers because of illegal connection we have sat down with engineer Muli and the team at Kenya Power tukamwambia if you can't beat them join them wale ambao wana connect your stima tuwaite pamoja tuwa register so that we give them the power to distribute because ukikata hiyo stima na ukitoa while you are doing a last mile connection unaongezea watu stima hata yule mwananchi ambaye anataka kulipia stima hapati nafasi ya kulipia hiyo stima but if we bring these people together tuambie hii ndio njia mtafanya you will be our distributors and we give them good materials hata zile moto unasikia na kila wiki mbili zitapungua because now they will not use substandard materials they will not use bad cabling and they will distribute this electricity to the people it cannot be that in 2022 in the capital city of kenya kuna watu wanatumia mshuma kuna watu wanatumia mafuta ta kuona and we are saying that we want to create a city of order and dignity your excellency we ask that you help us hasten that process ukienda blue estate nafikiri imekuwa zaidi ya mwaka mmoja bila stima sasa hizi biafra na kinyago pia kuna shida hiyo Tunaomba tuweze kutatua hiyo kwa niaba ya hao wananchi wetu. Jambo la pili your excellency ambayo najua pia tumezungumza ni mambo ya title deeds. As a county government we have processed around 7000. In fact kulikuwa na 2000 imefanywa mbeleni we have processed 7000 lakini shida ambayo tumekuwa nayo kidogo bwana waziri ya hiyo ya ardhi sasa utusaidie utufungulie hizo titles so that your excellency you can come and launch those titles. Those titles will help these people. Hata hapa Kinyago kuna settlement. Itawasaidia kuweza kupata mkopo, kuweza kufanya biashara. Kiambu Dandora tumemaliza titles zimebaki hapo. Tafadhali just give us that, you know, tufungulie hiyo. Na najua ulimwamrisha bwana Nixon Kori na waziri tuharakishe ili tutoe hizo wananchi wengi zaidi waingie katika hiyo system pia watulipe rates because hawezi kutulipa saa hizi wakati ambapo hawana hizo eh, hati uh, miliki. Ya tatu na ya mwisho excellency. Hapa tuko na kitongoji ama maeneo inaitwa Kiambio. Ya excellency Kiambio slum ambapo mheshimiwa Nixon ana represent. For a long time any development that we want to do inasimamishwa na jeshi. Tunajua Airbase iko na ilikuwa na kazi yake. In fact your excellency Airbase was originally meant for evacuation of the president in times of an emergency but sa hizi your excellency na hiyo traffic is ili ukijaribu kutumia hiyo route itakuwa ni mbaya can we rethink this air base issue development has been limited hakuna shule hata moja hapo ya serikali hospitali tutataka kujenga tunaambiwa tusiweke barabara tunataka kutengeneza ambayo itasaidia hata traffic ya kwenda utaring ikwe hapo tunasimamishwa 
in fact around isili which is a huge economic area in fact utumia isili inashinda ta ya rwanda lakini nyumba haezi enda above a certain height please it is the 21st century 2022 tafadhali turuhusu tujenge juu tuende juu zaidi tukuje as a county government we will put in what it takes but the amazing kenyans private developers who have ideas that can actually bring up the economy of not just Isili but also Kiambuyu and the entire Kampunji constituency which is one of the richest places in Nairobi naomba your excellency you can help us rethink rethink that arrangement that we have there and i know you as the commander in chief the commander in chief of the defense forces wewe ukisema tu ni amri na ni salute na utaona development ikija ya hiyo excellency utaona Nikimalizia I want to report to your excellency uli, uli tuamrisha na ukatupatia direction na mambo ya kupanda miti. Hawa vijana wetu wengi hawana kazi. Tumefurahia kwamba katika hii project peke yake karibu vijana elfu ine watapata nafasi na iwe ni vijana wa hapa kwanza ndo wapate nafasi ya kufanya kazi. Lakini leo tumekuwa na mkutano ambapo najua na asubuhi sikuweza kufika. Deputy Governor alikuwa nawe hapo kwa hiyo mambo ya digital data because we are sitting together tumeita police tumekana administration police uh, training college commandant tumekana GSU commandant tumekuwa na KFS ambao wanatusaidia pia na mambo ya seedlings and we are doing a multi agency team that will plant 10 million trees in Nairobi county na hiyo ni vijana wetu watafanya hiyo kazi watafaidika mavijana si mko tayari na kina mama mko tayari ama amwezi hiyo kazi si mnaweza because we must green nairobi your excellence kuangalia nairobi tofauti ya hapa na karen ni miti tu ni miti tu tukipanda miti unaweza kuja u relax hapo kayole na ufikirie uko mudhaiga we can be able to do it and we shall do it together with our young people of nairobi your excellence asante sana tunaomba usitoke kuja nairobi kututembelea Yo excellency tulikuona Kisumu ulikuwa na viongozi wote walikuja pamoja hata urengo walikuwa hapo hata Gladys Wanga hata watu wa Tibim wote walikuwa sisi Nairobi siasa tumeachana nayo kubali nilete hao MCs wote wa Nairobi wabunge wote wa Nairobi wa UDA wa ODM wa WIPA senator wetu women rep we come and just talk development because the people they represent are the people you are leading nairobi hakuna njaa ya mlu ya tofauti na ya mjaluo hakuna hakuna njaa ya mkamba tofauti na ya mkikuyu our problems are the same what we want is to unite all of us behind you na tukifanya hivyo hata wale wanataka maandamano watakosa watu wa kufanya maandamano kwa sababu watu watakuwa busy watakuwa busy wakifanya kazi ya excellency ama niaje watu wangu wa nairobi Sini hivyo. Sini kazi tunataka. Sini mboka tunataka. Ukiona mkutano inaitwa Tuesday. A Tuesday afternoon mkutano wa siasa inaitwa na inaja. Ni shida na ni njaa. Hawa vijana wako nayo. Tunaomba utulete tu sote pamoja. Yo excellency nitamalizia hapo. Wacha nimkaribisha sasa waziri wetu Zak ili aje atuombie mipango ya serikali kuu. Karibu sana waziri.